everybody. Um, I'm here to change Haley today. I'm going to be changing her into a Gymboree outfit um, that's pretty much similar to um, the one I just put on Savannah. Um, and so this will give me kind of an idea of how that one will fit her. Uh, this bow got bunched up. Okay, so I'm going to try to, I don't have a spray bottle to spritz it, but I have a damp cloth. So I'm going to try to dampen this um, bow and see if I can get it to, because I don't have time to iron this. And I hate it when the bow doesn't, and sometimes just getting it a little bit damp will do the trick. At least it did on um, Maisie's dre Easter dress. But um, first I want to mention um, that today, I forgot to mention this in my last video that I filmed. I'm filming these all on the same day on Thursday and it's um April the 27th uh so today marks 11 years um since my cousin Brittany passed away from cystic fibrosis um she would have she would be 27 right now if she had lived I can't I can't get over that um, and you know, it, I kind of touched upon this in my, uh, collections tag video, um, that, you know, she loved monkeys and she collected monkeys and kind of became this thing ever since she passed away. We see monkeys everywhere and I kind of took over collecting. Um, and it just, I kind of got obs obsessed with it a little, it was kind of my way of coping, um, with her passing and was that I just felt like every time I saw a monkey, um, it was like her saying hello to me. And so I kind of got obsessed with collecting monkeys. Wow, she does not even have hat hair. Really. This is what I love about Sheila Ron's rooting. You like it just never gets messed up really. I she was she's been wearing this hat for I would say over a month now. And there is not one hair out of place. That is incredible. Um I don't even need to brush it or anything. But, yeah, um, it's, I, I, like I said, that's why I was collecting monkeys. And, you know, I've recently realized that I have a, I have a pretty large collection of monkey stuff. And that's fine. I, I mean, having them around and being able to look at them has brought me comfort but, you know, I'm trying to reduce the amount of stuffed animals that I have because I find that the upkeep is really a lot of work to keep them dust free. Um, what I do, someone had asked me how I keep them dust free. And basically what I do is every two to three months, um, at least I try to do that every two to three months, is I will... Um, take a limp brush roller to them and that's how I kind of keep the dust off um and so that's basically how I've managed to do that but I am thinking that it's time you know it's been 11 years and I'm feeling ready to reduce my monkey collection 
and I think how I'm going to do it is I was thinking of selling um, some of the collection and putting all of the money um, to, to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in memory of Brittany. Um, and yeah, that way I just, I won't have as many stuffed animals to clean. <laughs> Um, and it'll give me a little bit more space on my shelves in case I want to get any more American Girl dolls or just generally if I need any space to put anything really. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um... But yeah, I, you know, it, um, it gets easier to cope with as time goes on, but it still hurts. Like, I don't think that will ever leave me, um, never in my life did I ever think I would attend the funeral of a 16 year old girl. I just. I just always thought that any funerals I would go to in my life would be for elders that have lived a long, long life, you know, great aunts, great grandparents, you know, grandparents and, you know, things like that, but never a 16 year old. And it's just, I went to... They had, you know, they had a private viewing for family members only, and then they closed the casket um, and opened it to the public. And that, you know, I still to this day will never, ever forget that. I will never, ever forget seeing her um, in the coffin I mean I just I it was honestly like and I had been to funerals before that for elderly people that have passed in our family like my mom's aunt um and things like that but they were really old they were like in their 80s you know 90s <laughs> and it was you know it's always a weird feeling I think to go to a funeral viewing but those made sense because, you know, it's the circle of life. It's inevitable. We're all going to die at some point. But seeing a 16-year-old is, it was a very surreal experience. It was very weird. It was, I don't know, it was just like nothing I've ever experienced and probably, hopefully, will never experience again. Um, and... It was very overwhelming um, seeing how many people came to the public viewing. It, I mean, the lineup, I will never forget it. The lineup was all the way out on the door to the street. And the room got so full. And it was all teenage teenagers from high school. And they were all you know, consumed with grief and crying. And I mean, it was, I just, I've never, um, experienced that ever in my life. And it's something that I will never forget. But what I do try to do, I try not to think about that. I try to focus on the memories I have of Brittany when she was alive and happy and vibrant and full of life and energy and doing her dancing, her beautiful dancing. And if you guys want to see her dancing, um, I believe her sister still has it up on YouTube. So if she does, I'll be sure to link those in the description below for you guys to go and check out because her her dancing was 
beautiful. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a bittersweet day. It's, it's one of those things when it comes around every year, it's just, I can't believe it's been 11 years and I don't know. I always have, I always have her pictures in her living room, um, right at the end of the couch. So I can just look right up and she's right there. She's right <laughs> up this way. Um, yeah, you know, and, uh, I believe she's, she's watching down on us and I'm sure she's dancing, <laughs> dancing in heaven. Um, cause she loved to dance. It was, I mean, it was her passion and yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I guess as the anniversary was coming up, I, like I said, I started thinking about my monkey collection and, um, I'm going to give her a little dusting. Um, and just thinking about what I want to do with it. And I just thought fundraising, using it as a, a way to fundraise some money for CF would be good. Um, actually May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month and it is also Lupus Awareness Month. Um... So it's always been a struggle, like, you know, for the longest time we used to do the Great Stride Cystic Fibrosis Walk at our zoo every year in memory of Brittany. But then when I was diagnosed with lupus, we kind of, um, well, we started doing the lupus walk. Originally there was one in September, I think it was September, but then we found out that there was some in May, um, as well. And so we started to do the one the lupus walk in May instead of CF or we kind of would like alternate it do one one year and one the other year because we didn't want to be like attending two walks and asking people to donate twice and stuff um and so this year I don't think we're doing the CF walk so I figure if I sell some of my monkeys um that that'll go for that and um the lupus walk uh, has disappeared in our area. The, the only ones that are happening are far out of the city. So they're not really feasible. But apparently you can become a virtual walker and sign up online as a virtual walker. So I think I might do that this year. Um... I'll sign up as a virtual walker and once I get that all set up I can let you guys know if you want to sponsor me um, for the lupus virtual walk um, you can donate to the lupus Ontario um, and I'm hoping next week to finally finish up my lupus uh, baby that I'm doing uh, that I've been working on for a couple of years now. McPherson's donated a kit to me, a Tina Kiwi kit, and um, I believe it's called It's a Girl, and it's an awake baby, and she is like so close to being done. I just have to basically put um, some blushing and do her nails, lips, and eyebrows, and then I'm going to paint hair. And so I'm really hoping I can get her done during the month of May. And then I'm going to do a charity auction on eBay for her uh, to raise money for Lupus Ontario. Because that was the whole point. Um, McPherson's donated the kit to me to make to auction off to raise money for Lupus. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just taken me a long time to do it because I've taken long breaks due to my health and thing and scheduling and things like that and I kind of got honestly burned out on reborning so I really needed a long break from it and I'm ready to get back it's just trying to find the time amongst 
everything else that I have going on. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Here is Miss Haley. And she looks really sweet. And, and it fits. I mean, look at how nicely the onesie fits her compared to Savannah. The pants fit her really nice. So I definitely think these are going to be meant for her. I'm going to probably try that other one. I'll take it off Savannah and I'll try it on Haley and see what it looks like on her. But I think these will be specifically for Haley because of the way that the arms go. Like they're, they're just kind of, they're one of the, I think the angles, like they go on, I mean the sleeves go on an angle. And so if you have cloth sleeves, it's going to show the cloth, which I don't like because it takes away from the realism. All right. So I'm going to sign off on this video. I just kind of wanted to make this video and remember Brittany on this 11 year anniversary. Um, and yeah, I guess that is pretty much it for this video. I've got a couple more videos that I want to make as well. So stay tuned for those. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was kind of a little bit of a side video. But, um, you know, like I said, it gets easier. It does. Um, you never forget. And the pain doesn't 100% go away. But I can now look at her pictures without crying. I can now look at her pictures and smile and remember the good times you know um so I'm definitely more at peace with it because I know if she was still alive she'd be suffering a lot with with her CF and so it brings me peace to know that she's at peace that she's no longer suffering she is no longer struggling to breathe and you know no longer in and out of the hospital so, you know, she's definitely in a better place and I know I'll see her again one day when it's my turn to go to heaven. And so that brings me comfort and, um, yeah. So like I said, I'm at peace and I'm ready to let go let go of some of the monkeys <laughs> um and kind of move on you know and and continue to go forward in life so anywho there's little miss Haley. i love these little bunnies on the knees they're so cute i should have put this on her for easter <laughs> oh well better late than never all right, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed seeing Haley and my little chat. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.